for my 2021 wide body scat pack and it's just a simple right here i go to work uh save money and that's really how i afford it i go to work also i do youtube as i mentioned in one of my videos before what i make on youtube covers this car so by everything i make on youtube i pour it back into my channel Hold on one minute, y'all. It's hot. Listen, if y'all hear some air noises, listen. The air conditioning is on. It is 90 degrees out here in North Carolina. But back to the question, how do I afford my car? Like I said, I go to work. Uh, I work at a plant job. I ain't going to say it's a 9 to 5, but, you know, it's an 8-hour job. Sometimes 12 hours, but I work every day. Seven days. Just these past two weeks, I done had a couple of days off, but now... It's back to the grind. Um, yeah. I work a lot of overtime, but overtime for me is more like regular time because it's like us working seven days is the plant's regular schedule. But anyway, back to YouTube. What I make on YouTube, I pour it back into my channel that covers my car payment. And number one, I don't have no kids, y'all. I don't have no family to support. I'm just supporting me, my life, my dreams and my goals so that really helps out a lot i know if i had kids you know things would be a bit different that's why you know you always see me by myself because i don't got you know my own little family i do got family but i don't got my own little family it's just me i love to be so a lot of people be in the comment section asking you know what kind of job you make to afford this and all this and that listen you these cars are not so far out of reach that you can't accomplish it I'm telling you, listen, all it is is just really saving your money, finding a good finance company. I prefer a credit union. I really prefer a credit union or, you know, your own bank. Do not go into the dealerships and let them run your credit and tell you all kind of rates and stuff, all these high interest rates and all these high down payments. Go in knowing what you're going to pay, what you're going to put down. That's what I did for my previous two scat packs. But when I first bought my first car, you no, know, my family didn't buy my first car. They didn't help me with nothing. Uh, I got it from a buy here, pay here. I knew nothing about buying cars. I didn't have no credit at the time. So buy here, pay here was good. Um, it was a 2000 and I think 11 Malibu. This was in 2013 whenever I got it. It was a 2011 Malibu. My second car was a Chevy Impala, 2015 Chevy Impala. I got that in 2017. I kind of was branching out, you know, with learning more with buying a car. I kind of made a few mistakes on that purchase also, but also I grew and I learned a lot of things. One of the mistakes that I made whenever I purchased that car was I let them run my credit. Like my credit dropped so much just from them running my credit so much. It was ridiculous. But anyway, look at that school bus in the back. But anyway, whenever I got that was my second car, so slime the green scat pack, that's my third car. Listen, I learned everything about that car. Listen, if you out shopping for one of these cars, I prefer you to know everything about these cars before you even go to the dealership. Whenever I got mine, I knew more about the car than the salesperson knew. I was telling him, I was really giving him a review of the car. On YouTube, watching car reviews, watching taking delivery videos, watching uh, just informational videos about any car that you want. It don't have to be a scat pack, it don't have to be a Hellcat, it don't have to be a Mopar, but any car that you want. It's best that you know more information about the car than really the salesperson knows because they just there to get a check. They not really there to know everything about the car. They just there to know enough to get you, well, enough to draw you in to get you to buy the car. So it's best that you know more about the car than what they know. So, you know, you can out talk them. In any video that I mention anything about me financing my car, what I pay, I always mention that I went in with my financing already to the tarot. I knew how much I was gonna pay, how much I wasn't gonna pay, also, know what the car is worth. Whatever car you're looking for, know what it's worth. Know the value, know the depreciation, everything. 
from this scat pad to my last scat pad, I financed it with the credit union at my job and they gave me the best interest rate. I got an interest rate of three point something right now with this car. Um, you don't, no money down. If you don't have to put money down, I prefer you to not do it. That's just me personally. Everybody has different opinions. There's no right or wrong answer. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. I put money down on my last scat pad and I, I was wondering like, now that I think back, it's like, I shouldn't even put that down. If you have the chance to don't put no money down, don't put that money down. Use that money that you're gonna make a down payment with and just find a way to invest it in something. Especially if you're doing YouTube, that could be, let's say a couple thousand dollars. That could be something some mods and stuff that'll help you know grow your channel where you know you can make more money but yeah that's how i afford my car i get up and i go to work every day i don't got no handouts on nobody make my car payment mama daddy none of that nobody helped me with nothing so like i said if you're thinking about getting any kind of car that you think is so far out of your reach listen it's not do your research steady as best as you know what you get into before you get into it instead of just jumping into it these 40 50 thousand 60 thousand dollar cars it sounds like a lot but whenever you really break it down it's like listen, you can do it now do i recommend this to somebody that's working somebody asked me i work they said they work at uh i don't know if it was taco bell and they were 16 or 18 and they were looking to get a scat pack for their first car i mean i'm not gonna say that you're too young to get one of these i'm not gonna put that because some people are more mature than their age this right here was my very first sport car my very first mopar before i own only four cylinders so i jumped from a four cylinder straight to a eight cylinder 480 485 horsepower now hey on my last scat pad i got my horsepower up to 504 505 and that will stop no engine mods but anyway i ain't gonna get off the subject um like i said this was my very first sport mopar i'm grown i'm not no teen i am 28 so i'm very mature but Jumping into this straight from a four cylinder, of course, that was a big jump. And you know, as soon as you get these cars, whenever I got it, boom, threw it straight in track mode. So I know if you a teen, you know, you, you in your early, early 20s, that's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna show out, especially with your little friends and everything. But I feel like I wouldn't put an age on it because it all depends on how mature you are. That's what I think. But I will put an age on it whenever it comes to insurance. Especially if you're an inexperienced driver. Around that age, I'm sure your insurance is going to be high. And plus, these right here are sports cars. And your insurance is going to be high. My insurance is only 100 and something. I, I can't really think of the exact numbers because I got two cars on my insurance. So, yeah, that's how I afford my car and everything that comes with it. Oh, one thing. But people get these cars, you know, all they worry about is the car payment and the insurance. Listen, gas. I would have to say your main extra bill would be gas. I spend about, well, whenever I'm riding, riding, and I got a lot going on, I do daily drive this car. I'm going to give y'all a daily review. Well, I'm going to give y'all a review on having this car as a daily driver, maybe next. I spend about... I'm just average it at $100 a week in gas. Four weeks, that's $400 a month. That's another car payment. So, especially, you know, if you like to drive in sport mode, that's gonna really kill it. I live around a small town, so it's a bunch of stops going, you know, mainly low speeds while traveling, you know, versus if you live in the city, you traveling on the bypass, the faster you go and the less stops you make, the better miles per gallon you get. The best miles per gallon that I've gotten on this car so far was 22.9 yeah, miles per gallon. That was whenever I took my trip to St. Louis. I don't remember the best miles per gallon I got whenever I went to Miami, but 
I did record a video of me filling up so y'all can see how much it took for me to fill up from E. And I'm gonna show y'all that right now. Gas is 3.32 a gallon. And we're about to see how much it takes to fill this up. I'm right there on E. Right now I got my miles per gallon at, I think it's, I'm out here still in Florida. You know, with the shells, you get. Right now, I got five cent off the gallon. You know, after so much, you get ten cent off. But right now, I'm at five cent. It should be about to stop. dollars and 21 cents 15 gallons you, know, you gotta shake off that excess gas so you don't get on the route time to get back on the road like i said i'm gonna give you a review on daily driving these cars because i do daily drive it i do have another car but i basically kind of gave that to my mama and it's like I was going to use my other car as a daily driver, but once you get in one of these, you don't want to get out. So I just kind of gave it to my mama. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to make a, a video about that probably after I end this. So, you know, I'm going to switch the scene up a little bit. Try to go ahead and get these videos out of the way before I head to work. Listen, I know y'all see the grind. I done been to uh, St. Louis, um, Tennessee. Miami, Georgia, all that within the past two weeks. I've been out of my comfort zone. Once I had got my wrap, I was gonna start branching out more, going to different cities, meeting other people, collabing with different people. So listen, if you have an event and you want me to attend, if I can make it, I will do my best to make it. Like I said, I prefer to stay over here on the East Coast. Nothing no more than six hours. These nine, 12 hour drives is Woo. send me flyers or whatever you have information on any events that you want me to attend on my instagram which is down below on the screen slime pack underscore 392 is the same thing as my youtube also you can email me at slime pack 392 at gmail for any business purposes or also you know events just in case you don't do instagram uh i usually respond back quick but on Instagram, I don't really respond that quick because I don't know what the problem is. I don't get notifications whenever people send me stuff. So it's like I'm just randomly checking my Instagram throughout the day and then I see stuff as the day go by. Any events, any car events, um, community stuff, maybe birthday parties, whatever you have, let me know. Hit me up in my DMs. Also, email me. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and move out of this spot, cut my air on. It is hot. So that's basically it for this video. I'm about to give y'all a little bit of driving footage and I'm about to make the next video. Yeah.